Hi my loves, I'm Maria, the Maria Fadia on all social media platform and this channel is your ultimate guide to amazing style, personal success and development and if that sounds like something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe. Today I am clearly going to be going into what is listed here. Today we'll be doing my designer shoe collection, one of my two closets so I'm just kind of sitting down on the floor to kind of show you everything that I have. We actually don't wear shoes in the house so I had to clear out this space specially for you guys. So let's get into it. I'm gonna go through all the shoes, where I got them, and just like information and just a little bit of like fun fact about the shoes, whether I wear them, where I don't. Some might not be available anymore, like in stores or like from the brand. So you might have to obviously get it from the resellers or you know, a secondhand market. And I will of course link whatever I can find for you. I will be going in no particular order at all. I'm literally just going with the closest one to me. So let's get it. First started. one are these um, row sandals. I believe these are the row constant uh, heel thong sandals. Thong sandals? I think that is. I'll double check right now. Um, like based off of like my literal order. I got this from Selfridges. The Constance Leather Thong um, Heeled Sandals. The first time I wore the shoes, I wore them to work and I didn't park that far from my office. I literally parked within walking distance, maybe like, I would say like a three minute walk into the building. Knowing fully well these shoes were new and I was breaking them in. When I tell you these thong parts were eating, these thong parts were eating into my leg my big toe and my uh, my second um, toe eating like it, it it literally felt like my leg was on fire i'm not gonna lie to you but again i knew the heel itself was short enough that I, I i do like the height so i i was like you know what i'm going to hang in there i'm gonna hang in there i've had worse to be real with you because at the end of the day this is a hope and toe shoe it's a heeled sandal at the end of the day the worst that's happening is this and if i slide my leg slightly back it's better anyway like i would say it is um silver hardware is that the same for shoes i don't know it's silver and it's hardware as well and it's just a leather leather heel like, it was a bit painful to break in like i said but i invested like 400 dollars into the shoes and i knew they were leather shoes they were quality shoes they are open like heeled shoes like they're sandals so i just knew i had to break them in it was a bit stiff leather just comes out like sometimes you have to break it in and so yeah i just knew i had to give it time i gave it time and now i wear it it is one of my top go-to shoes i'm not gonna say they're the most comfortable even now i will not lie to you at all i do not find them available on like Neiman markers i've only uh, seen them on reseller sites and um yeah I, I think they're going for like 500 to 700 on reseller sites or 400 to 700 from reseller sites i got it on a really good deal so that's why i have them so let's go into another shoe i'm gonna actually keep it on theme with the row shoes these are the row and i'm and if you see me looking down it's because i cannot remember all of the names of the shoes like it's been a minute i got them from Saks fit it was actually again on sale i always try to get these on sale because i honestly can't imagine myself paying like a thousand nine hundred dollars for like heel sandals right now i mean i don't know maybe for maybe for like boots and shoes and things like that but not for heeled sandals i, I don't know that's just my logic right now but because i don't see myself doing that i do see myself buying it if it is on sale and i do have limits for shoes and bags and all that type of stuff anyway the roll sandals these roll sandals i was kind of scared because especially with the thong issue from the first one i thought wait you know this might be too thin the fact that you have two doesn't make it too terrible now i will be honest if you are gonna be standing for hours and hours on end it will dig into your feet like no doubt about it your toes will feel the pressure and it usually is around where your toes and the rest of your feet is so your toes will feel that pressure trust me after like i would say maybe like three hours of standing on you scrape them up pretty well i've worn them quite a bit to be honest with you even though i complain a little bit but i have worn them quite a bit they're they're very scuffed up i, I wouldn't even lie to you very very scuffed up I, I will say though they are still great quality they still hold up well another thing that kind of is weird for me is that one shoe like i wear my left one totally fine I wear my right one not that great i don't know how to explain it i really don't know but literally i wear this one great this one doesn't fit as well now i know one sh one leg or one feet or one of our body parts always bigger than the other so i don't know over time 
this will be like a sling back uh, on my leg and over time it will just start to slide now i think because of the position you can wear it to the front of your leg and also as a sling back but when i wear it as a sling back my right one just goes which is kind of annoying like i said i want to take this to a cobbler just to make it perfect but it's not so terrible that i'm gonna give up the year like i said very scuffed up i need to kind of get them fixed to be honest with you and take them to a cobbler but i've literally put them in kind of a lot of um just kind of street walking in miami lots of grates a lot of um gravel you know that just happens so you feel it more here because as you stand on it there's just like literally not too much of a support holding you in other than these two strings and then i just have one slightly issue with this but it's not just issue i'll be honest with you i do have this issue with other shoes too but yeah the biggest thing would be here for me um but yeah let's go into my other shoe the third shoes are the Oh, these shoes these shoes oh my these are the crimson patent leather slim back heels um as you can tell they have this like shiny factor to them that's the patent shoes these are fairly new these i believe came out towards the end of last year um i believe this was part of the fall runway for 2023 i recently got them myself around october of 2023 of last year i saw them online i absolutely absolutely love it um i don't believe they neiman markets actually have this color anymore neither does bergdorf the bergdorf i believe has the black one neiman markets has the cream one and then if you go on Miu Miu itself you can get this for 1200 these shoes are currently going for 1290 i believe um yeah again i got a little bit of a coupon deal and like little stackable stuff that i usually do through rakuten i always talk about it because i do it and i that's the way i obviously get some deals with it but yes i was truly 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 obsessed with these shoes i had to have them and they were a bit pushy my budget i won't lie but i'm obsessed with them i wear them for everything they recently got stuck in a grate and got a little bit of a scratch on it and made my soul so upset like literally li i don't know if you can see it but there's like a little scratch i was walking with my friend we were downtown miami walking through and i got and i got stuck literally in a crate can you see that i got stuck in a crate and literally i was like oh my god please please don't let my heel fall off oh my god and i was like this is literally a movie scene but all my shoes are meant to be worn and i am wearing them fully well i will say one thing is that in the top part of the buckle here when you're breaking them in they will hurt it, it is more of a pointier heel or a pointier shoe this part of your feet here will hurt when you're breaking it in that's where i felt the most pain myself so i felt a lot a lot of pain on my you know little toe and stuff in my second toe for my the toe that's closest to i felt a lot of pain on those two toes for these shoes on both feet obviously but other than that, they fit perfectly well. They are very comfortable padding. Um, after, again, I've been wearing them for a bit now. So I've broken them in a little bit and they feel more comfortable. But even when I wear them for a long time, I still feel that slight pain there. So that's what I would say is their little like touch point with the shoes. I feel like most people have a little thing to them. That's what I would say for that loving them still obsessed with them i wear them for i wear them in outfits that i don't even need to wear them because i'm obsessed with them so yeah these next shoes are one of, are one of my favorite these are the saint laurent um fanny slink back pump in crepe satin so then we have this rhinestone buckle detail here this is probably what like five inches or four and you can find it on the ysl website you can find it on the markets i think it is sold out like sacks and stuff i got these on Harris. i've been really loving pointed toes and square toes recently so this has really been doing the tricks for me and obviously they're black so classic shoes that i can wear with everything i've worn them quite a bit in my opinion they're black and they are like you know a, a classic a staple i feel like they are staple in a closet i can wear them out with literally any fancy outfit or really class up a look because of like the buckle and all that aspect of the shoe so for me personally i felt like it was worth the money to have the shoes like so yeah all right so the next one these are my gucci and again i'm reading it here okay, so these are the gucci leather sandals i actually I, d I don't wear them that much and i don't wear them that much because literally i am just not a logo girly i 
<sighs> I do. I've worn them. Truthfully, I've worn these once or twice but now. That logo just gets me conscious. Same thing with my Christian Dior bag that I talked about in my other video. When I wear these, I'm just like, I just feel like, you know, because people know the brand, you know, some people are a bit more like, oh, how much do they cost? And this, like, and the other. And it's not like I don't like talking about it. It's just like, I don't want to talk about my spending habits, really. I don't know. Oh, shoes, they were limited edition shoes. They do not sell this color on the Gucci website anymore. You can only get this from the secondhand luxury stores now um, in this color. The black one is still available and this one is the 4.1 inch heel. Black one is still available on the Gucci website, on every website it's totally available. It's gold on the shoes here. So I think they are classic shoe. I think that I can wear them with a lot of stuff and that's why I got them in the very first place. In white, because originally I wanted to wear them for my wedding and I thought these shoes would be great for my wedding. I ended up not wearing these for my wedding. I ended up wearing the I Amina mean, Maudi shoes. I'm willing to splurge a little bit and I did when these came my out. Wedding, I ended up wearing my I Amina mean, Maudi Lily sandals instead. These shoes are very, very comfortable, but you know, four inch heels are just what they are and you're just on the incline so nothing crazy but i just feel like i haven't worn it as much because of the logo i thought i would be able to get over it and it was small and it's not that big of a deal but it seems that i clearly can't seem to get over i it. do want to invest in shoes and bags and things like that that are quality and will hold me for a long time even clothes now too even more so clothes right but definitely been dabbling into shoes myself and those were some of the shoes that I would say. Let's get into my... So these are my Chanel flats. Um, all that you can see of the logo is literally right there, which I freaking love. Because the other um, ballet flats I heard might be more comfortable. But they have like that CC at the top and I don't want that. So I wanted something small and discreet. Because like I said, I noticed that the one that I did have that was obviously big logoed, I did not like. And I did not really use that much. So I was obviously like intentional about this and I wanted to use it for Because the logo is very minimal. You literally have to be staring at my shoes for a very long time to be able to see the logo. And when I first wore them they it's like what everybody said they were miserable they were hell actually the first like five times i wore them they were miserable in hell but i will be honest with you i have walked about maybe like 10 <laughs> 10 miles in these shoes now when i mean 10 miles i literally mean it like from so i want to call your attention to the left side of the shoe there's this little fray happening where the fabric black part is and that's something that i noticed with the shoes i have walked quite a bit in them i'll be honest but i noticed that happened with the shoe i thought it would mess the shoe up more i cut it off and it was totally fine back to normal you could not see a thing but that is something to pay attention to which is kind of weird for something that costs so much but anyway moving but on they i've broken them in so much now that they are now comfortable to wear in my opinion so I would say, are they worth it? Absolutely, in my opinion, yes. They are 0.8 of an inch, which is great. Very classy, nothing too crazy. Most of the, sh like the shoes now, you can only find them on, on either Chanel itself or on like the big resellers. I would say also look into the second hand, look into the second hand market with like the real real and things like that because it is very dominant. Um, there. Again, most of these shoes I will be very 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 real with you. They were hell to break in. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't think other than maybe like sneakers or something in general that I would say was the easiest for me um, to break in. And even then, I've had some sneakers that are slightly maybe tighter because I have slightly wide feet so for me, at least to break in the shoes as we obviously go on and I like I showed you it gets better okay and then my last but not least these are the silver uh Versace Evita Avida I don't really know if I'm saying it right to be real with you but these are the Evita it's a silver shoe and to be real with you I feel like I got into the shoe kind of at the height of the resin songs but i don't i wouldn't say that i don't like it i wouldn't say it's not something that i wouldn't wear but it is heavy it is so heavy okay i'm not gonna lie to you it is super cool super it looks very interesting it's like a six inch heel mind you and i'm already 5'10 so wearing these i'm literally like my fiance's height pretty much oh, my husband's height why did i say fiance okay it's not fiance anymore whatever but i'm pretty much my husband's height when i put these on and he's 6'4 so yeah at five ten, wearing these i am like the tallest woman in the world at least that's what i feel like okay i'm obviously not the tallest woman in the world but it makes me feel really tall because they're super tall heels 
but they're also like heavy they are heavy oh, yeah. like so wearing them for a night out fun fun vibes super cool looks amazing you're the tallest in the room but your feet will feel like you've been working out it feels i know it's probably like a pound or something or maybe two pounds but you feel all of those two pounds after standing for like four hours so i do wear them and i will pop them out whenever i want to make a scene because like i said i i become six four in this shoes probably one of the tallest women in those rooms so i do know that calls attention to me they are what I would say like an attention seeking heel so when I got them I actually wore them with socks wore them around the house and just broke them in so I think that made it easier for me when I wore them out but I won't lie when I say truthfully heavy shoes but I do think the details of like the like stones is really cool and I do think like the Medusa head for like the Versace is really cool and the little, little lock Thing that's with it and I and it also has it out at the bottom really consider what you're gonna be doing for the night I consider these Versace heels as shoes that I wear to go sit down in, honestly but I will say I think you can only get these on like most of retail sites now um, in other colors maybe I, I'm not sure I look like a Barbie when I wear them and I love that for me but yeah they're not really like you know like moving through the like no they're heavy they're heavy and I do consider it twice before I wear them because they're in. So yeah, that has been my design shoe collections. These are what I have in my closet so far. If you're interested to know what is trending for fashion in 2024, don't forget to check this video out. It will tell you everything you need to know about what to wear, how to style it, and until next time.